All right, you get over here. Hi, I'm Mark, coming to you from Baker Screen Acres. Uh, it is Thursday, and uh, I have a question for our Anyone Can Farm question and answer session. This one comes from Deb in New Hampshire, and her question is, what type of chickens do you use for broilers, and which type of chickens do you use for layers? All right, there's two types of chickens that we use. A broiler of, if you don't know, a broiler is a, a chicken that would be used for meat production. So they grow out in eight to ten weeks, whether they're on pasture or they're in a, uh, a fenced-in area, about eight to ten weeks, and then they're ready for slaughter. <clears throat> If you were to use one of those, a broiler chicken, uh, which is a hybrid, usually they're white. Um, we use what's called a Cornish cross. They're available through most uh, hatcheries that we know of. And uh, they're, they're a good chicken. If they're out on pasture, especially, they're very good because uh, it keeps them healthy. The other type of chicken we use is a layer. My trusty assistant here is going to give me this one. This is a... What's called a heritage breed, and it is a uh, this one's an Isa Brown, and they're a great chicken. Uh, they lay really well, and they're pretty hardy. The difference between a, a hybrid and a uh, one of the difference between a hybrid and a heritage bird like this is these ones are very hardy, and they're 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 survivors. They will go out and find their own food if you allow them to. But behind me is one of our chicken houses. It's on skids. I have it in the clear span for the winter. We still have a lot of snow on the ground. But as soon as the uh, ground pokes through, we'll pull this out of here and get it out on some ground, and the chickens can start going to work. <clears throat> okay, and you can expect from these quite a few eggs. And uh, why don't you give me an egg so I can show what they look like? I would recommend uh, um, a different breed every year that you do it for your, your layers. They go about two years, and then their uh, their chicken their egg production drops right off. Now a chicken is born with every egg that it will ever produce, same as a woman. All right, so they go about two years, and then you put them in the stew pot. Oh well, what do you know? Here's an egg, 29. That reminds me, 29 days left on our Indiegogo. So if you haven't seen. Uh, our website, anyonecanfarm.com. Please check that out and then go to Indiegogo and if you can, donate. Uh, the donations are going towards our Anyone Can Farm program that starts this summer and we plan to have in-residency classes at the farm and teach people some of these basic uh, farming, traditional farming techniques. Uh, that's all from today for today. Remember, anyone can farm. Thanks.